So, hey guys, this is Richard from West Tech. I have got another video for you. Continue to watch because we're going to get right into it. Oh, we have this new unboxing. Now, I actually won this from the second Patreon uh, meetup with Andy Rafael from eTechnics. I won this as a prize, as a questionnaire, because... I have got another AIO, which is from Be Quiet, but I needed another one, so if I ever do testing, I've got a spare one here to do the 240 testing. So, let's get into it. This is the Aqua 240 ARGB AIO from the brand Cougar. You can see, there it is. Very nice, very nice, very. And it opens from here, that way. So what we're going to do, we're just going to unbox it, and then I'm going to do a video on it then to see how it will perform, and see if it is any good to use. Now, I've never tested a uh, Cougar branded AIO, but as they're all based off Ace uh patent. I'm assuming it's probably going to be around the same performance, but we don't. Uh, we never know. So let's have a look. Right then. So we get this little manual. By sure, just tells you that's for LGA. There. Oof. We get. This is all the mountains, it comes with an ARGB controller, comes with the mountains, does it come with thermal paste? Not yes, but there thermal paste. Comes with a fan splitter. Let's have a look at the accessories. So we've got this which has cougar on it. Just there. That I'm assuming is probably gonna be for AMD. Horrible mountain system, but oh well. That is a fan splitter. Then this is all the bracketry. So actually that is AMD. That is Intel. Um, doesn't actually state on it. That's for the fans. That's LGA 2011. And then that is for TR4. So I'm assuming it's these right here for this. So let's put this away and have a look at it. I'm more interested in seeing how the block looks because I've seen quite a few of uh, ARGB uh, uh, AIOs and the block on the picture on the box looks huge. So I'm wondering if uh, I'm wondering how big the uh, block is. If it's kind of huge and big and massive and stuff, we just have to see. But I'm quite interested to see how the uh, RGB aspect of it is because I've done a lot of RGB fan unboxings and stuff like that. I've done the um, 360R from MSI, which had uh, ARGB on the block as well as RGB fans. Obviously, it didn't come with a remote because it automatically synced up to your motherboard. But have a look. Right. these are the fans. And it would be that the Seuss header. <sighs> well, the fan looks quite nice. I like the look of the blades. Looks quite nice. It is PWM. This one. That's two. That's for that. Very nice. Uh, I don't like that connector. I would prefer an ARGB connector. But, oh well, I guess. This out and pick up the box and go. Oof! Wow! <laughs> that kind of just. Oof. <laughs> right. So this one here. Ah, right. Now I know why the fans are that because they connect into this, and then there's an ARGB. 
connector which connects to the motherboard. So we've got the block player which just says Cougar on it. Eh, it might look actually tidy. It's got copper under the bottom. And then it is a basic uh, radiator. So, I mean it looks quite nice. Uh, the braid, at least it's got braided cables, but from what I can see with here, it is, yes, it is, unfortunately, it's just like the, uh, the, um, the AIO from MSI, which connects this by here and clips on, like that, not the best, uh, mountain bracket, but, oh well, so, Uh, I hope you enjoyed. There is going to be a video of uh, the light map and see how it uh, performs. So, yeah, this is Rich Professor. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And I hope you have a good day. Goodbye.